What's up everybody? It's Wednesday, October 21st. I'm out in the front yard today. I haven't done anything out here in like six days. It's a total mess. There's leaves everywhere. We got kids running around like crazy. So I'm doing a fall cleanup today and this is something that's expensive. If you hire a landscape company to come do a fall cleanup, it's gonna cost you a lot of money. So today I'm gonna show you what I do to get everything cleaned up. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but I'm gonna show you the process that I use to try to make things as easy as possible. So get all these leaves picked up, clean up the beds, show you what I do to try to keep things nice and green as long as possible, because that's always my goal. Make the lawn look good until it's covered in snow. So let's get right to it. So the first step I take in this process is going around to the mulch beds where I have all the landscape and I want to clear those things out with all the leaves and everything that gets in there. None of the leaves from my trees have even really fell yet. They just kind of blow throughout the neighborhood from all the other trees. So I'm going to clean those things out. I'm going to blow all the leaves out into the grass. It's not going to make the grass look good right away, but eventually I'll get that all raked up. I'll get it mowed up and hopefully everything's going to look good at least for a couple days because that's how the fall goes. You get it looking nice, then you come out the next morning and there's leaves there again. So it's a continuous process. You're not gonna get it perfect in one try, but I'm gonna show you some things that I do to try to make it as easy as possible for you. One tool that I use that's really helpful is this. It's the Toro Ultra Blower Vac with a metal impeller and it is also a leaf vacuum. So if I can get a big pile of leaves, instead of filling up an entire bag, with a small amount of leaves, I can suck those things up into the leaf vacuum. It chops them up into fine little pieces, and then it doesn't take up as much space in the bags. Also got a little help back here behind me with the leaf blowing. So I'm gonna blow all the leaves to one side of the garden bed. From there, I'm gonna use the leaf vacuum to suck those things up, to mulch them up real fine, that way I can bag them real easily. At the end of the growing season like this, another thing that makes your landscape look kind of tired and just not very good is if you leave things like this, like these lilies, these are past their prime and they're not coming back, they're not gonna be grown again this year. So I'm gonna tear those out and it's just gonna make it look a lot cleaner in here because these things are dead. They'll come back next spring, but for now they're not looking real good. So I'm gonna tear that out. One other thing I like to do, which is pretty helpful before I start mowing, is I go around with a leaf blower right along the edge of everything because leaves get wedged in that little opening right there. So I like to blow those out of there because the mower doesn't usually suck those things up. And if you leave the edge with all those leaves in there, it doesn't look real good. So quickly, I'm gonna zip around that edge with a leaf blower before I get mowing. All right, so the beds are pretty clean from leaves. I got the edges all cleaned up too, so now it's time to mow. I'm gonna suck all those leaves up and bag them. And a lot of people like to mulch. Personally, I like to bag them because I, I don't know, it's just how I am. I don't want all those small leaves all over the lawn. So you can do whatever it is you wanna do, but I prefer to bag them. So let's get to it and let's get a mow in. Something else that really helps while I'm mowing is if I have my light leaf blower in one hand and I'm blowing the leaves, 
that normally shoot out the side of the mower. So it's something I like to do. I'll switch hands depending on which way the wind's blowing or you can just look at wherever the leaves are shooting and then wherever they're shooting out of, just leaf blowing back in, they'll get sucked up. And then you don't have all those extra leaves that are laying all over the lawn. So it's Thursday now and I'm about to do my favorite part of all the things I do out in the lawn, which is cutting with the Toro Greens Master 1000 reel mower. The backyard's still looking really good. It hasn't quite gone dormant yet, so I'm gonna give it a cut today at 5 eighths of an inch. We got a ton of rain yesterday and things have dried out a little bit. It's still a little bit wet back here, but I'm gonna go ahead and mow. Before I do that, one issue that I have, especially after rain, is I have to deal with worm castings. So when the water saturates the soil, those worms can't breathe when they get soaked with all that water, so they work their way up to the top of where the grass is, and they bring with them these little tiny piles of dirt that when we get rain, it turns into mud and it just becomes a little mess. So if I run that over with a mower, it makes those tiny little mud patties is what they look like. So I'm gonna go around with the leaf rake right now. I'm gonna rake those things up before I go over it with the Greens Master 1000. So the cleanup in the backyard is a little bit different than the front yard. We don't have any trees that have leaves back here, but we do have these huge Colorado blue spruces and these things drop needles like crazy. So if we get a bunch of rain like we had last night and this morning, those needles come down everywhere and those pine needles kill the grass. If you ever look at a pine tree or a spruce tree, look below that, I guarantee you're not gonna find grass growing. So I like to suck that up with a mower. I crank it down as low as it goes, which is one inch. So I'm gonna go around the trees and I'm gonna suck up all those pine needles to keep the grass nice and clean around that edging that I have. All done back here in the backyard. Really happy with the color and everything going on right now. Thanks so much for watching this video. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time.